things are about to get real this weekend. Mini X is here with a breaker attachment so we can get all the stumps and concrete sidewalks out of the way for the pool. He's getting them both. Look at that. He's resourceful. Breaker bar, fixing to bust up some concrete. He hit the horn. Should be the uh, toggle on the thumb, the thumb switch. Try the other one. Nope. to make a muddy mess. We got most of the, uh, well actually we got all of the sidewalks that we're gonna be busting up done yesterday. You can see here the different sidewalks we got busted up. We might uh, <clears throat> come back at the end if we still have some hours left and bust some of the pieces up into a little bit smaller pieces. We're gonna line our front ditch along the road with those rocks to give a little bit cleaner <clears throat> to give a little bit cleaner finish uh, along the road there um, but today's first task of order is going to be switching over from our hammer to our bucket we got a bucket with a thumb that's going to make it a little bit easier once we pull these stumps out to take those stumps just pick them up and carry them right over to the burn pile and then once it dries out a little bit We'll be able to burn all that up. <clears throat> so the goal here is to uh, make sure we, we get rid of all this, uh, all these stumps and stuff here. They're not really coming into play for the pool, but we want to get them all done before the pool area is um, finished. So we don't have to get heavy equipment back here and damage any of the landscaping after we finish the pool. So we're just going to get um, a lot of these trees out here that are going to be next to the pool area as well as clear a path down to the creek and we're going to start putting a picnic area <coughs> down by the creek got a little bit of a <coughs> congestion this morning sorry about that you need tool or it's just supposed to twist uh, it's supposed to twist pretty easy <laughs> but it's and you got it off on the other side yeah so there's two hydraulic hoses here that are the quick connects that we're disconnecting first so that little uh, pin is lining up with that groove and then it snaps out yeah, right or here. it slides out. Yeah. 
and there's a hose on each side, so you just want to line those up. There it is, lined up. And it comes off easy peasy, as you can see. <coughs> It wasn't that hard. It's just slick because it's got hydraulic fluid on it. Slick, hydraulic fluid, and rain. Rain. And rain, so. All right, so <clears throat> now. And if you care about your yard, you probably don't want to rent one of these when it's wet <sighs> and rainy. We're redoing the whole yard, so we didn't care if we uh, tear it up. Now, what's next, Mark? So now we got to take this pin out. And that pin is retained by this bolt. Probably. I don't know yet. So once we get that locking pin out of that shaft, we basically remove that bar, shaft, whatever you want to call it there. I'm not sure what the technical name is for it. But it's basically <coughs> the, the uh, quick connect, if you will. It's called a pin. It's the pin that then would go <coughs> through here. And then you basically just put that locking pin back in there and reattach your hydraulics right here to the bucket and we will be good to go and then we'll show you how to set up that bucket with the uh the little computer setup here on this u35-4 mini x from kubota <clears throat> if you're in and around paris tennessee service rental is the place to get it great people there you slide that pin out there's your pin and then you just grab that uh, that hammer with one hand and lift it up and throw it out of the way, right? Now, you're going to get on there and uh, actually lift up the boom. Um, these on the bottom, it looks like these right here are hitting on that. So you need to bring this out forward. Bring the boom out forward, yeah, not it up. Is. It's just it. Out forward, not up. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. There you go. I'm going to angle it. He angles it himself. Now you got to be on the other side, dude. That's all got to be on the back side. I can't hear you. This is all got to be back here. This has got to be oh, behind it. Now you can rotate it in. All right, there we go. Now we just got to put the pin in. Are you lined up? Of course not. Since you have rated hours, whenever you're not using it, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, so no, the hoses stay with the breaker, and we don't need any of the quick connect hydraulics for the bucket. You can see they've got their own hydraulics here for the thumb and the bucket and the boom operation. So we're going to get this bucket on and get some of these stumps out of here. We'll show you how to set up the bucket if. If there's anything computer related, I don't think there will be, will they? For the, for the bucket? For the thumb. Like there was for the breaker, it'll just work. Because you don't have a hammer effect or anything you like that. You have to turn the hydraulics on for the thumb. Ah, okay. Have to enable the hydraulics for the thumb, maybe. We're going to give that a My shot thumb. here in a second. All right, so uh, we could not get the thumb working. So the hydraulics, we had the settings per the manual. 
turned on, auxiliary setting number five is what you're supposed to turn on. That should turn on that other hydraulic for the thumb. We can hear the hydraulic sound when you push the button, but the thumb's not moving. So we're just gonna go ahead and use with the bucket. Thumb isn't gonna hamper us too bad, I don't think. And we will check with service equipment, service rentals when we get back, see if it was operator error or if it was uh, our own difficulties. Uh, you can see this one goes through the roots a lot better than the uh, one I was using. My BX23S will go through some smaller stumps and roots, typically those that have been dead for a while. These have been just cut, they're larger trees, so we need a bigger equipment and this U35 so far seems to be just going right through it like butter. So this is what's going down on the homestead today. We got the Mini X in service, digging up stumps, taking down some trees, clearing out the woods, working on this stump right here right now. Stay tuned for some complete footage of how to operate one of these big, well not really big, it's a Mini X, but it's a uh, a lot bigger than the tractor that I have. It is a Kubota U35-4. It's a Mini X. We had a breaker on it. We got the bucket on it now. We're digging up some stumps. We'll have all kinds of footage of operating this unit and just show you the power of what it can do. Pulling trees out of ground, knocking trees over, digging up stumps, breaking up concrete, that type of stuff. So stick around, come back for some of the full videos once we get in production.